Hey guys, it's your girl Vanessa here. Welcome back to another video. Do you guys like my look? Let me know in the comment section down below. I feel like this is so different and I'm not quite sure whether it suits me or not, but my husband thinks it's okay. Um, but let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Um, anyway, so welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Vanessa. I make lots of videos on natural hair, DIYs, to help us grow healthy, long, just good looking natural hair basically. So if you're into this kind of content and you love that kind of content, definitely consider subscribing to join the family. Now if you're a returning subscriber already, thank you, thank you so much for your love and your support. Like from the bottom of my heart, I really, really appreciate all of you guys that keep coming back to watch my videos and leave comments and likes i really really appreciate it it's super super encouraging so today's video is going to be um, a q and a i left a question thing on my community asking you guys to ask me some questions and i also did leave one on my instagram if you don't follow me on instagram please go ahead and follow me i will link my name somewhere down here so do feel free to to check me out and give me a follow um so yeah i will be answering those questions in today's video and hopefully by the end of the video if you're new here you will get to know me a little bit more so I think I'm going to start first of all with the ones that I got for my YouTube community and then I will answer the ones that I got on Instagram. Um, in case you're wondering why I'm looking down, I'm looking at my phone. So I'm trying to get into my channel and then I'll get in my community and see if I can find that post and then I can sort of read the questions on there. I don't think I've got many questions honestly um, on YouTube especially. But I got maybe like a few on Instagram, so I'm just gonna answer them. So the first one says, um, "Gorgeous as always." My question is, would you ever consider doing a silk press again? And if so, what would you do differently this time as opposed to the first attempt? Um, so I guess this question is coming from my failed <laughs> attempt at um, a silk press that I did. I tried to do. I think it was a few months ago, anyways. Um, so, but thank you, thank you for the compliment. Uh, yeah, definitely. I'm actually thinking of doing another silk press because I feel like I just want to know my full hair length. I think that would be something that is definitely nice to know, and possibly also get a trim. Um, so, yeah, I definitely am considering doing it. But to be completely honest, guys, I do feel like. Especially now with the way that my schedule is, I'm super, super busy and I was actually thinking of doing it at home by myself or maybe just like get my sister to help me out. But obviously, yeah, it's just finding the right time to actually sit and do it essentially. So this person said, um, and if so, what would you do differently this time as opposed to the first attempt? So I guess the first time I did wash my hair at home put some, uh, detangled it essentially with aloe vera. I think maybe that may have helped, um, sort of contributed to it not going quite as planned. So what I think I probably would do different if I was to go again to, um, the hairdressers to get it done is possibly just go and get them to do everything from scratch. So wash my hair, um, blow dry it themselves and, and all of that and probably look for a place that actually does, um, you know natural hair and knows how to handle natural hair because to be completely honest where I live I don't think there are many and that day that time that I done it I literally just I was just hoping that you know it would work because I asked them could you do this and they said yes but I think next time I'll probably would look at reviews online um, just to see you know who is out there and who do, does what and even if it means that I have to travel out of where I live to get that done I will definitely do that but just like I said I've been thinking about doing it and possibly just getting my sister to help me out but when it comes to like the trimming part I don't know whether I will be able to trim my hair as professionally um, as I would have had it done if I went to um, a hairdresser for example to be completely honest my biggest fear when it comes to going to the hairdresser is getting my hair all tangled up and you know completely broken because this has happened before and the last time i've been to have my hair silk pressed properly um was 
before my wedding it was actually in preparation for my wedding and I feel like that day my hair really suffered a lot like I had a headache afterwards because again they didn't know how to detangle properly I had so many knots and I felt like I lost so much hair after that session but obviously I was already in it and I just had to like, you know persevere and obviously it did take a very long time as well so that really gave me a really bad experience from the beginning and but anyways yeah so to answer that question I would definitely do it again um so the next one is thank you Vanessa I'm looking forward to looking forward for the next video you look beautiful and prosperous have a blessed rest of the week uh thank you so much i think the rest on youtube was basically just like compliments and thank you so much to all of you guys that left um those great compliments like looking beautiful vanessa you look beautiful so yeah basically thank you thank you so much for those yeah like i said i didn't get that many questions on youtube it was just that one question about the silk press now let's get into the instagram one I'll see if I can find it. I'm just looking through my camera roll because I did take a screenshot of the questions. Mm. Sorry guys, still scrolling. Still scrolling, 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 scrolling. Oh, there you go, I found it. So somebody asked, how do you pick the right one? So I guess this is like a relationship question because I did say, ask me anything. Um, so how do you pick the right one? Okay, so for me guys to answer that question I would say first of all you need to define Who the right the, the right one is basically and what what it what it is that actually makes somebody That would make somebody the right one for you because that would vary um, depending on the person because obviously people have different preferences, different upbringings, different values and basically just different things that they're looking for in a partner. So you need to actually define what that is for you and essentially um, just look for those things in that potential person that you may be courting or dating. Um, so obviously we all have flaws or things that we're not necessarily um, proud of and that we're probably still working on but those are the things that when you are in the courting process and even in marriage or relationships in general you will still be working on those things so it's never going to be like perfect but that person has to be perfect for you and also just listen to your gut feeling essentially um if you're a christian i would say listen to the holy spirit in you because generally what happens is sometimes we tend to ignore you know that little voice inside us that is telling us you know this is not right do you get what i mean because maybe certain things are happening like red flags here and there but obviously because you're too loved up you tend to sort of overlook those things so i would say just listen to the holy spirit if you're not a christian listen to that gut feeling inside you if you have reservations or let's say um, lots of red flags definitely something that is is you shouldn't overlook and um, so somebody now says how do you cope with negative comments now I guess this person is referring to like my youtube channel um, because obviously that's where I'm a bit more active trying to be more active on Instagram I promise I will I will be but anyways yeah so how do I cope negative to be honest I don't get a lot of negative comments on YouTube I think most people that watch me and comment are generally you know um quite polite and quite helpful and really grateful for the content that i put out as well but obviously yeah you do, you do get some negative comment here and there but it's not it's not really really that often um it really depends on the comment really so if it's like constructive criticism then that's different like i'm really really happy to to have constructive criticism because essentially that's what you need to propel you to the next level and to improve on whatever it is that you're doing if you're running a business and your customers are complaining about this or running or complain about that um obviously you can't just overlook it if you're looking to be like successful at that business so you have to take it into consideration and look at ways that you can improve so i think it really just depends on the comment itself and what kind of comment it is um but obviously if it's like negative you're just coming from a negative place i will definitely block you delete the comment i'll delete the comment and block you it's just as simple as that because i'm not about 
negative energy because I don't put negative energy out there so I don't see why somebody would come on my channel and basically do that like it's just it's just not allowed but obviously if it's constructive criticism then it's a completely different thing altogether so the next question oh let me go back so somebody asked how I mean what what is your opinion about marrying somebody that is not a Christian um, so okay this is I'm gonna reply to this question based on my perspective on the fact that I am a Christian now some of you guys may not necessarily agree with this but that's my opinion okay if you're not a Christian and you don't agree that's fine or if you are a Christian I don't know if you don't agree then that's that that's fine but that's my opinion um so for me personally i will not marry somebody who is not a christian and i wouldn't advise somebody that is dear to me someone that is you know close to me someone that i love to marry someone who is not a christian especially if they are a christian themselves um because the bible is really, really clear on this like you should not be unequally yoked with unbelievers it's literally just as simple as that um, i'm going to read a scripture from second corinthians 6 verse 14 from the new international version it says do not be yoked together with unbelievers for what do righteousness and wickedness have in common or what fellowship can light have with darkness so what this essentially just means is that it's not um like you, sh you shouldn't be marrying someone that doesn't believe the same thing as you believe in because you are the light and that person literally is not so it's very very clear and this scripture is really really self-explanatory and i just think it, it just puts it out there really plain and clear that you shouldn't be marrying somebody that is not that is not a believer and also trust me marriage has its own challenges marriage is sweet it's beautiful but it has its own challenges and honestly you do not want to have religion as a challenge on top of everything else that or all the other challenges that marriage brings on its own even when both of you are Christians do you get what I mean so for me I just feel like it's not worth it um, if the other person doesn't believe in what you believe definitely look for someone that is on the same page as you when it comes to um, you know what, what when it comes to that aspect because I have known relationships where one was a Christian and one was a, and there was just so much issues going on in terms of you know simple things like praying at home or going to church uh, you know I just feel like you don't really need that that unnecessary stress you know on your life just because of the decisions that you made and also when you talk about marriage we talk about children obviously i'm fully aware that there are some people that choose not to have children but the majority of people get married and build a family so what kind of things will you be teaching your kids essentially you may want to bring your kids up the way that they should go just like the bible says like the christian way and all of that but your partner may be completely against it because maybe he has a different faith altogether he may be a muslim or i don't know or he may be an atheist um and may not necessarily be in agreement with you teaching those things to your kids so it's like do you get what i mean like it's really really not worth it in the end so i think in my opinion definitely look for someone who is you know along the same line as you believes in the same thing and that essentially is good recipe is a good starting point um like i said nobody's perfect and there will still be things that you both would have to work on in your marriage to make it work um but obviously you don't need any additional unnecessary stress that could have been avoided if you just do not make that choice um in the beginning so i hope that answered that question somebody asks why did i start a youtube channel essentially it was just as a hobby as as i first started i started my youtube channel back when i was still at university that was many many years ago and honestly it was just out of boredom i was just looking for an escape and youtube happened to be one of those things and i used to love watching youtube videos as well um so that really encouraged me to start you know making videos as well i went to university um, in northern ireland like a completely different place it's still within the uk but it's like 
it was so far away from family friends basically everybody so it was a whole new place whole new everything whole new beginning and i was finding it super difficult to adjust to that new sort of life and just being alone essentially so youtube for me was just like a little hobby or like an escape essentially just like i said so i was just making random videos here and there basically just talking about different things and because at the point as well i was also trying to grow my hair um i did i was watching quite a lot of hair videos hair youtubers literally people that have been on this platform for so long like natural 85 i was such a big fan of her and i still am um so yeah i literally you know those are the people that really inspired me to actually start a youtube channel because they were showing lots of tips about growing natural hair and stuff like that and i got into it and then i was introducing you know fitness videos here and there because obviously i was a lot into fitness then um and also you know like how i was taking care of my hair and that's basically where the journey's been so to answer that question it literally just came from a place of just looking for a hobby i was literally just bored at uni like i had nothing else going on the next the next and final question is uh are you pregnant i don't know i've been getting this question a lot and somebody actually sent me like a whole long email um just wanting to know if i was pregnant it's like i don't know why i don't know why people ask this kind of question to be completely honest um i don't know i i just feel like you shouldn't you shouldn't be asking someone this question honestly even if you think a woman is pregnant because of the way she looks or maybe because she's gaining weight or for whatever reason you may be thinking she's pregnant do not ask if she's pregnant wait until she tells you that she's pregnant i just feel it's pretty rude to ask somebody that question so that brings us to the end of this q a guys i do hope that you have enjoyed it and hopefully if you didn't know me before that you know a little bit about me um so yeah thank you so much if you left me a comment or a question or i don't know like um yeah a comment or a question i i, I really really appreciate it so thank you for constantly engaging with my with my content my channel i'm super super grateful guys honestly i do not take these things for granted so thank you so much for your love and support so yeah that brings us to the end of the q and a yay um so yeah that's it for me to the from me today guys thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed the video don't forget to thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're not already and i'll catch you in my next video bye